Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to give this Lynx 12 its first cleaning at 10,000 rounds. Um, so since I bought this gun, I put 10,000 rounds on it and never, never cleaned it. This is basically an AK-47 shotgun. Uh, I love this gun, it's a great gun. It shoots very well. Okay, so despite the fact that it's never been cleaned, the gun is, is, is uh, the gun's very smooth, okay? Um, I, this is the first gun that I initially bought, the first Lynx 12, and I, I think I did a review on this at about 3,000 rounds, and uh, uh, I like this gun so much that I bought that one, and now I wish I had bought a third one because, you know, because the whole coronavirus business, all the prices have gone up, but these are really awesome shotguns, um, I and mean, this is a great gun, but uh, the reason why I'm really clean this is because I wanted to open up the gun and inspect it. Uh, and since we're, I'm going to open up and inspect it, you know, just look for where, you know, I figure it's a good opportunity to, to clean the gun. You know, a lot of times people say, why don't I clean my guns more often? And the honest truth is, just because I'm, I'm busy. I'm mean, a uh, full-time gun instructor. You know, I, I do a lot of traveling around to train people. And, and the fact of the matter is, you know, I get paid to train people. I don't get paid to clean guns. So uh, if I don't need to clean them, I'm not going to clean them. So cycles very well I mean you can see that gun is dirty I mean I'm cleaning this gun instead of that gun because this one I cleaned at about 5,000 rounds uh, you know I looked at it this one's gone to full 10,000 so I, I wanted to um, take a look at this gun inspect it and also since it's a gray bolt we'll be able to see the dirt a little bit more clearly on it okay so here's my recoil screen Yucky, yucky, yucky. There's my bolt. <laughs> That's a dirty bolt. And just looking at it, I really don't see. All right, so how are we going to clean this gun? There's so much grime on it. Well, it's pretty, about 90 degrees today. So if I get the gun wet, it's not going to matter too much. Just got to leave it in the sun for a little bit. And it is going to dry. And it's going to dry pretty quickly in the sun in this heat. So this is a quick, easy way to get the bulk of the dirt out of there. You can see this coming off on my hand. We'll leave the fire and pit, get underneath it. That cuts down on a lot of the work. And given that the gun was working fine, as dirty as it was, I mean, I really don't have to get too crazy with the cleaning. I mean, even how dirty it was, it's going to work a lot better now that it's been cleaned. Yeah, it's there. Right, let's see. I see stuff coming out of the gas tube. But you know what? It's a hot day. I really don't mind getting wet. So this is part of the reason why I kind of waited until the summertime to clean this. Okay, so it is interesting. On the recoil spring, there's a rubber back here that they have as a cushioner. And I can see that this is getting chewed up. So I'm going to have to contact SDS about getting a replacement for that. So that, that rubber is getting pretty beat up. So a lot of people question the necessity for this piece of rubber over here. And yeah, I kind of guess it's important because if that wasn't there, then you know, something else would be getting hit. Clean 
the bolt and the carrier. Stays. Okay, filthy. Right, even with the spring, this stuff is not coming loose. Spray this shit down a little bit. Okay, let's get the, let's get the bolt out of there. Now, like I said, I've been shooting this, uh, all 10,000 rounds are basically birdshot. So if you're shooting buckshot or slugs, obviously that's going to wear the gun down a lot faster. Now, for, for you guys that haven't seen my earlier videos, my uh, I have two Sega 12s that each went uh, about 30,000 rounds before I had to retire them. Uh, and the thing that went bad on the uh, on the Sega 12 is right here, where the the bolt and the piston connect. On that, on the Sega 12, they use the traditional AK style of running a pin through there, and then basically that got beat to crap and it started cracking, and and that's that's where that's where the weak point was of the Sega 12. This here is one solid piece from here to here. Uh, the connection that I see over here, the pin is actually back here. Okay, so this is that. So, so whereas the um, with the with the Sega 12, they run the pin up here. On the Lynx 12, they run the pin back here. I can see the pin hole back here. Uh, so I'm guessing that this is a much better uh, design because I mean, there's no movement, you know, on this. Um, with the with the Sega 12, I could see that you know there was a little bit of movement on those. You know, even when they were just like brand new. Um, a bit more. So this Lynx 12 is definitely an improvement upon the earlier um, Repra 12 and, and, and uh, uh, Sega 12 designs, although I've never shot a, uh, of a Repra 12. I hear those are very good guns. Although I suspect it's probably not as strong as this Lynx 12 just because, you know, when they, these guys that built this gun had a lot more history to go by um, and improve upon. Okay, so now that this thing's actually clean and I can actually see it, I'm, I'm looking at it. I mean, this thing looks like it's brand new. Looking at the rails here, there's absolutely no wear at all on this. Over here where the, you know, this is that, that little uh, groove that turns the bolt. No wear on that. No wear on the piston. I mean, this thing is brand new. I mean, if you, you know, other than it's dirty, if you put this side by side by with a brand new one, I don't think you'd be able to tell the difference. Let's look at the bolt. There's my bolt. Face looks smooth. The ejector, I don't see. I don't see any chips because that ejector does a lot of. Uh, um, I mean, that the, the extractor. That extractor over here does a lot of work as far as pulling out the cases. I don't see any wear on that, um, and that's really great because I I bought a Palmetto PX9 and I bought I, that extractor claw broke at about like 1,500 rounds. So. Um, so yeah, that's, so that's something I pay, and, and on my AR-15s, 
usually every 10,000 rounds, I've got to replace the extractor claw, uh, the extractor period, because I break the extractors at about every 10,000 rounds on the AR-15s. Uh, pin looks good. So yeah, a, a little dirt there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this sit in the sun for a little bit, let it dry out. And on this piece over here, like over here, I remember how I soaked it before? This is already dry. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna probably put this like this, like the sun, keep it like that, let the sun hit the inside of that, dry that up. Um, after this dries, what I'm going to do is then I'm going to actually do some, you know, I'm going to use some of this, uh, the, um, you know, the uh, carbon choke cleaner, uh, this stuff works really good as a gun cleaner. It's cheaper. This things are like $3.50 as opposed to the um, uh, $8 that you're going to pay for, like, uh, the, the other ones. That, you know, if you go to, like, Walmart or any of these gun stores and you buy the, 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 the gun blaster sprays, you're going to pay, like, $8 for them. Um, with this one over here, the carb choke cleaner, you're paying, like, $3, $3.50, and you're actually getting a bigger can. So the, this works good. I just want to do a piece of dust here. Well, it's actually, let me spray that off. Looks like I missed that before. Not that matter. We're talking about, considering how dirty this was and it was still working, the little bit of dirt that I'm talking about is, is like nothing. So that's what I'm Keep that there, let that dry. Uh, so, oh shit, I forgot to clean the dust cover. Clean that dust cover. It's the only thing. So, at 10,000 rounds, the only piece that has worn out is this little piece of rubber here. Other than that, the gun's great. Let it dry. Clean it up uh, some more with the, with the car with the choke cleaner, and it's good to go. Thanks for watching. If you're not a member of the channel, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.